Mm -hmm. mm. Ah, starting the day off right. Not water fasting today. Celery, cucumber, lemon. It's a great way to start your day on days that you eat food. It's great for the digestion. It's great for your heart and soul. Well, I can't prove that. What's up, my friends? Welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart, and I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. In today's video, I want to cover a pretty important topic because there is a lot of detail and nuance to water fasting that people totally overlook. And because they totally overlook the nuance and details, they don't get the results that they could. So the topic of today's video is healing your body and healing the skin, your gut, digestion, versus water fasting strictly for weight loss. Length of time, the use of caffeine, supplements and electrolytes, and deeper cleansing rituals. Which ones are better for weight loss versus healing? Which ones should you be focusing on based on what your goals are, either weight loss or healing? In today's video, I'm gonna cover all these topics. I'm gonna to make things very clear for you guys so you can have better results with your water fasting. <laughs> When you're trying to lose weight, caffeine will help you with appetite suppression. It will give you energy to move your body more and to maybe burn more calories. And it does and can raise your thermogenic temperature in your body. You can burn, you can literally burn more energy by taking in more caffeine. That will lead to more weight loss. If you're doing a long water fast, it's also going to make you feel pretty crappy and pretty shitty. But in terms of pure weight loss, using caffeine, teas, that contain caffeine or just caffeine in general, it can be very, very beneficial. Now conversely, on the healing side, you wanna avoid caffeine altogether. When you're looking to heal your body, it's not about how long you can water fast, it's about how correctly you can water fast. Dipping into the body's deep reserves, the glucose, the body fat, the toxins, is the entire point, autophagy, for water fasting, for healing. So if you're going for healing, avoid caffeine at all costs during your water fast. And if you're going for weight loss as your main goal, caffeine can work really well. Here's a tip. Do not use coffee. Use caffeine sources that are ultra healthy and ultra clean. I think matcha green tea or regular green tea that's caffeinated works best in my opinion and in my experience. You guys gotta be careful with the caffeine though. You don't wanna overdose on caffeine when you're on a water fast. You can end up feeling like a total crackhead, just shivering and jiggering and like just, it can be bad. I've seen some, I've seen some friends go down the tubes doing too much caffeine on the water fast. Hold on, I'm parched. Mm -hmm. These freaking straws seriously suck. These stupid paper straws. I know it's environmentally friendly, but they don't work. I'd rather they just cut a hole in the plastic lid like a baby, like a sippy cup. Just let me drink the thing. I have to go through all this mess and get green juice all over my mustache. Jeez. Length of time is ultra important. For weight loss, obviously, the more days and hours you spend not eating calories and burning calories, the more weight you're going to lose. You can also supersede or just jump over the true hunger thing if you're going strictly for weight loss by using the caffeine and by using some of the other techniques that reduce hunger and give you energy. You can, your body won't ever give you the true hunger sign, the, the sign to stop your water fast is true hunger. I do have a video explaining how to feel true hunger and how to stop when you feel true hunger and what true hunger is. But true hunger is the ultimate sign for the water fast to stop if your goal is healing your body. So long water fasts, and the longer you can push it, the more weight you're gonna lose. But for healing, you do not care about how long you water fast. All you care about is doing it correctly, and when your body gives you the signal of true hunger, you slowly stop your water fast and you slowly transition to eating your healthy, customized diet and you take your time and you don't rush through that process. For healing the body, that transition process is super, super important. Same thing for weight loss. If you are someone focused on weight loss, when you stop your water fast and you transition back to eating, that's something to really focus on for both healing and weight loss. If you don't 
transition slowly and correctly with eating the right foods and avoiding the wrong foods, your water fast will basically be a waste of time. So for both healing and weight loss, make sure you focus on that transition. But for weight loss, long water fast, obviously you're gonna lose more weight. But for healing the body, focus on true hunger and stop when your body is supposed to stop. Because if you are focused on healing and you water fast for too long, it's very detrimental. The electrolytes, oh goodness, this is such a controversial topic. We got snake juice out there, we got electrolyte waters. We got all these people who drink electrolytes or some type of fruity punch electrolyte zero calorie mix and they water fast their asses off for 20, 30 days. And that's awesome. I'm not hating on them, but you have to remember that my focus on this channel is healing the gut and healing the skin. It's the ultra focus. Um, weight loss, I speak on weight loss because the system that I use to heal people's skin shreds body fat. The use of electrolytes is very similar to the use of caffeine. It stops your body from getting the signals to dip into the deep reserves. So it makes it feel, it makes the body feel like it has energy, it has stamina, it has fuel to go on when it really doesn't. Using electrolytes, therefore, will sometimes make you able to water fast much longer, which we've already discussed is better for weight loss. On the other hand, using electrolytes if you're trying to heal the body is not a good idea. The focus of a water fast for healing the body is autophagy, and autophagy needs to come from the body signal saying, hey, um, I got no more fuel left, and I need you to go deep into my fat stores, deep into my glucose stores, and deep into my toxins, and start to work your healing magic, because that's what the body does. When the body is left alone to do its thing, it's a self-cleansing, self-healing mechanism, and it works really efficiently. If you're stuffing your body with electrolytes, yes, you will be losing weight because you won't be taking any calories, but the level of autophagy and healing that you'll get will be really diminished. Planning your day can be the difference between having a successful water fast or a crappy water fast. If you just kind of wing it, a lot of stuff can come up, emotions, hunger, being tired, being grumpy. And when you're emotional and you're on that roller coaster, you have a chance of making some stupid decisions like cheat meals, like jumping off your water fast or just suffering, which sucks. Focus is weight loss and healing the skin. Planning your day makes it so much funner and so much easier. I do have a bunch of videos on how to do that. It's really basic. Just set yourself a schedule. I'm gonna get a massage at this time. I'm gonna meditate at this time. I'm gonna read a book at this time. I'm gonna take a bath at this time. And then I'm gonna start watching movies at this time. And I'm gonna call my mom at that time, board games with Steve at nine, and then bedtime. Um, it sounds corny, it sounds kind of dorky, but believe me, if you have a plan and you follow that plan during your water fast, it will make it easier and way more fun. The use of deeper cleansing techniques, things like coffee enemas, salt flushes, saunas, salt baths, those deeper, deep, deep, deep cleanses. They will definitely help with weight loss and they will definitely help with healing your skin and healing your gut. If you are on a water fast, you are burning so many more calories than you're taking in that adding hard exercise in the long run actually doesn't do that much. So what I suggest is for both healing and for weight loss, just do the simple yoga routine that I created and some very, very light movement. If you're focusing on healing, you wanna tone that movement down to as little as possible and spend more time laying around, relaxing, doing restorative yoga. If your goal is weight loss, you can create a little bit more movement, go on some gentle hikes, do some gardening, go on some walks, um, especially if you're taking in caffeine and electrolytes, your body's gonna feel like it has calories and energy. You might as well use it to your advantage. But I, I warn you, if you're gonna move your body and do some yoga and, and move a little bit on your water fast, I don't suggest working out hard at all. Now, you can do it, and yes, it will burn extra calories, but it also will throw your body into a place where it produces a lot of negative hormones, a ton of cortisone, a ton of insulin, and those long-term will backfire and pretty much halt your weight loss altogether. So you wanna move your body and burn some extra calories if your focus is weight loss, but you don't wanna go so hard that you produce like a fight or flight response or a cortisone response or fill your body with a bunch of lactic acid when what you're trying to do is to 
be catabolic and to be in autophagy all the time. Okay, good people. I think I'm gonna end the video there. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you're looking to get a hold of me to have me become your eczema coach, there's a link for a consultation in the description box. Make sure to head over to the Instagram and hit me up there. There, my name is Rob Stewart. Actually, that's my name in real life. On the Instagram, my name is Stuart Rob Stewart. Um, my parents gave me the name Rob Stewart. I stuck with it all this time. I'm, I'm almost 40. I'm gonna stick with Rob Stewart for at least until I'm 40. All of my offerings, the Three Phases Workbook, Super Juice, um, all of the guides for healing the skin are at holistichealthactivation.com. You can find stuff there. You can find me there. You can find a website there. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and share. If you're new to this channel, remember to hit the notification bell. And if you're old to this channel, much love you guys. You've been doing this for a while. Keep going strong. Keep your eye on the prize. Best of luck to you. I'll be back with many more videos really soon. Until then, peace and enjoy your water fasting. No matter if it's for healing or for weight loss, understand what your goals are. Be specific and detailed with them and really set forth a plan and utilize that plan and have a great time. Much love. Bye.